your bridle up on that hook on that one put drop it right over that loop isn't that pretty and put that side together and then bring it over to the other whoop these poor people are going to watch this video and they're going to get uh seasick After you ride, you need to take it apart and clean it really good. Let me look at it. Yep, that's the right side now. Mm -hmm, the buckle's yeah, on the outside. Yeah, yep. so that's, again, that's a little bit symptomatic of a horse who's not really forward to the right. So you work on those, but you put that into the equation. So now what I would do here then is spiral in towards me and just keep riding a little bit sideways and just keep turning the shoulders and keep them forward. And be back to where you send it straight forward for a moment and in the timing is that's really important. You catch the moment that he really gets stuck, that was good, good, and I'll let him out of it. So you don't stay there until he gets stuck, and give you three or four really good strides. Hey, Jen. You know, like, yeah, if he likes it, then you should. You can use it in place of the pad that's on there, or over the pad that's on there. Now, you need to attach your reins. Give me the head stall. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Okay. 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 Ok
No, you need to leave every, all the buckles the way they are till we fit it to his head. Savannah. It was text with these long texting conversations I see. I did last night. No, whenever my mom gets attacked, she doesn't answer my stuff. I just think you're a ten year when I grab her. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm the only one she texts with, pretty much. What? I'm one of the only ones she texts with. Pretty much the old. Uh, Hi, John. How are you? New horse. Yeah. Did you meet? Did you meet them yet? I saw your revisions to Gabby's freestyle. I will try to get them back. Okay. They should be rel. I mean, I just I figured out exactly where to take it out and what to repeat. 
you know, like that first. Well, um, I will try to. It's get like it twenty seconds out and twenty seconds repeated on the piano of music. Yeah. Um, Do you have your computer with you today? I was gonna say, I don't have mine either. Um, I have my I think iPad. I do. Yeah. So I will try to get it done early in the night, so that you can take a look at it and listen to it. So oh. that we can revise it. Okay. If we need to later tonight. But I'm leaving at like noon tomorrow for Mother. Right. So yeah. I will be Yeah, out. we're heading up tomorrow about ten, nine thirty. Okay. So let's try to get it done later this afternoon this evening, okay? That's great. Thank you. Are you heading into town? Yeah, I gotta go to Boulder. Okay. okay, John, take it easy. Don't stop in front of the camera. Chianti. So a new horse that came, I think, while you were away. Most of the time, when they when they break at this stage of training, they break out of a balance issue, not out of laziness. Yeah, yeah. I'm losing my balance. I better trot, and you don't you don't want to. Um, it's simple. Yeah, you totally pay attention. One moment. Hey Sue, I missed the very beginning of the comments you made about his gates at the beginning. Oh, Could I you like tell him. them? I actually like him a lot. Um, he has three really good gates. He's got a very pure walk, very nice symmetry in his top, and very good balance in the camera. Um, and he really is a good friend. Two or three uh, his babies that are very similar and they all have super dispositions. It's and very, very sweet. Very and really nice I, I actually like him quite a bit. Yeah, I like him he too. I think, and he's and, and flashy he's on probably, top of that. Yeah, he's really pretty and he's got, he's got a good look and he shows a really nice outline. And I think with just a little bit of strength and some consistency, he'll probably develop really easily. Um, and Greta does a really nice job. Um, she's got a really good balance and she's very sensitive. And, and that's, you know, she's very attuned to that. And and I think probably if he's had any trouble in the past, it's because he's a pretty sensitive horse in his mouth. And he gets overpowered easily by the rain. And so he needs to be very quietly to the rain. And a little bit more of a thought is riding quietly forward from behind. But he was super great. He tried to do everything we asked him to do. And I think his basis in his training is probably really good. Yeah, because I think when they, they said when they found him and tried him, he was, really he was one way, and then yeah. it kind of, things yeah. were going a little and south, and then... That too. And a lot of young horses, when you change their lives, they struggle a bit, and they have a little trouble. And if your person is really sensitive to that, it's really easy to get them confidence, they kind of get undone for a while. Yeah. Yeah. 